Huh? Why are you filming me? I'm minding my own you business. Mind, you mind leaving me alone? I'd say the same to you. Do you mind leaving me alone? I wasn't talking to you. You're talking to me. You're bothering me, huh? I'm not bothering you. I'm not even talking to you, dude. Beat it. Yeah, you know, you know what? I would love to sacrifice my rights for his feelings on the 37th of Neverwary. I don't want to be videotaped. I don't want to be videotaped, and you didn't ask me. Yeah, but I didn't talk to you. Yeah, but it's just a matter of videotaping me. Nobody wants to be videotaped without permission. Oh. So if he's upset, he's the right to be upset. He does? And I didn't want to be, but you did it uh. anyways. You didn't. Yeah, but, like, so... Like, how, like, what do you think about, like, the whole First Amendment, like, that gives us the right to freedom of press? Well, I mean, that's what I'm saying to you. Yeah, but I was very quiet. I didn't talk to you. Well, there's, there's several. There's a camera right there, ma'am. There's, there's several cameras in the library. Like, I don't talk to people. They don't talk to me first. Like, you know, the library is a beautiful example of the First Amendment at work. No filming in the library. What's going on, guys? We're at the Burlington Public Library, in Burlington, Massachusetts. Are you all set? Can I help you? I'm good, thank you. Okay. Just gonna take some pictures. Summer Ween. Summer Ween, that's cool. That's a cool name. I'm okay, I'm just taking a look around, taking some pictures. Thank you. They got the like a $20 Connect, Discovery, Enjoy, like a little bag there. Oh, those are on hold books. Looks like if folks have books they want to hold, they can hold. So, I, should I download this app on my iPad or on my... Uh, you can do it on your app. Uh, you can do it on your app. I have it both on my phone and I have it both on my phone. I am so sorry. I was not on this one, but this is just an app so I can... Email. I can... I can... I can... Oh, really? She's looking for me. She's trying to figure out where's yeah. Certainly a busy library. Lots of people here. Oh, okay. Let's take a peek upstairs. Guess what? If I didn't have this when I was a kid, now you can just self check out. Technology.
back here, just like a, a meeting room. Oh my god. Thing is expired. Four months after expiration. Huh? This is the working place, not a public place. It's a working place, not a public place, and you can work. No, but this is still the public place. Okay. I, I respect your rights to William, but this is the working place. Okay, cool. Well, Alright, it's a working place. You expect yeah, my rights. You just want me to stop filming. Alright. Thank you. Oh. That's my rights, just as long as I'm film. <laughs> Adventure awaits. Do you have a suggestion for our world language collection? I really do wish I could learn like a new language, but for some reason my brain just doesn't like put it together. It'll take me 20 years just to learn how to say hello in a different language. How are we doing today? Good, good thanks. You having a good day? I'm pretty good. Good here. Busy downstairs. Is this a good one? It's the next book club selection. Ooh. Okay. See, it's weird. Some libraries have like really good book club selections. And then other ones, it's just like, you know what I mean? Like, there's nothing wrong with, like, Ralph Waldo Emerson, right? Right. But, like, sometimes people want to be excited and read some new stuff. And summer reading this when I was a kid was not fun. Daphne. What happened with um, the elevator? Did you see it? It's been expired for, like, five months. The inspection. Definitely not my area. I know. And you just have yourself a good day. Thank you. Daphne is very nice, guys. The other lady yelled at me. I don't know why. Let's head over here. This is like a smaller library. <laughs> There's a flag. No matter where the flag is, it always looks pretty. <laughs> Young lady, what, what do you do here at the library? The cataloger? Yeah. Okay, what's your name? Um, do you need to know my name? Yes, I'm asking yeah. you. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so I just need to know your name. 
so much for professionalism. What is going on today? It's just been a long day. I, I, I couldn't be more nice. Like, could I please have your name? Work for the public. Daphne, what's that young lady's name? See, I was giving the library a break on the whole five months past inspection on the elevator, putting the community at risk for, per, for liability, and I was not giving anyone a hard time when she shut the door on me and told me I couldn't film. I've been really nice. I feel like I asked someone's name, I should get it. Is the library director here? He's not. He's not? No, it's too late. Oh. Who's in charge here today? She is. She is? Okay, so what's her number? Uh, her name. Her name is Nan. Huh? Her name is Nan. Nan? Okay, thank you very much. Appreciate it. I'm going to have to figure out who I can give a records request to for Nan. Um, for her salary and all that stuff. I mean, good on Daphne, though. She didn't want to get in trouble for Nan. Don't get in trouble for Nan. There's the popo. The popo right there. More study rooms. They got lots of study rooms. I think my kids drew those. Oh, that's from where the wild things are, right? I don't know what that's from. Is that Nan coming out over there? That's not Nan. Oh, that was Nan. Hello. Then over here. Got some computers. Got one, two, three, four, or oh, three computers. Probably Wi Fi. It's a quiet zone. I'm trying to be quiet so as not to disturb anybody. This is just one of the library study rooms. Wonder if you have to reserve them. Just a little desk with like an outlet in there. Seems to only be the, the lady in charge. I respect your rights while I'm going to restrict them. That's what always happens. It's like, I'll, I respect your rights, I'm just going to restrict them. Huh? Why are you filming me? I'm minding my own Do you business. Mind, do you mind leaving me alone? I'd say the same to you. Do you mind leaving me alone? 
I wasn't talking to you. You're talking to me. You're bothering me, huh? I'm not bothering you. I'm not even talking to you, dude. Beat it. That guy's rude. Dude is rude. He's filming me without my permission. He's just standing in front of me. Well, not for nothing. I was minding my own business until you, like, interrupted me and told me to stop bothering you and I wasn't talking to you. I'm sorry? If they're working and they, if they want to be left alone. He was left alone. I didn't even talk to him. He told me that I wasn't allowed to film him. Maybe just move away from him and film somewhere else. Well, I'm gonna film like my stuff, right? Like, minding my business, not yeah, speaking no, no, to him whatsoever, welcome, not even engaging him. You're welcome to film. And then he told me that he said, "Why are you bothering me?" And I said, "I'm not even talking to you. Like you're you're bothering me. I'm not talking to you. How am I bothering you?" And then it, it got down to it, where he just says I wasn't. I was filming him without his permission, which, I mean. If he wants to read it, there's a copy of the Constitution in here. But I certainly don't need his permission to film in a public place. No, no, you're welcome to keep filming. I know, he didn't know that. No, I just, I would, I would just, if he asked you not to film him personally. personally. Yeah, you know, you know what? I would love to sacrifice my rights for his feelings on the 37th of Neverwary. Like, they're my rights. I'm going to give him up for his feelings, like... It had nothing to do with him. If I didn't want to be on film, I certainly wouldn't go talk to someone, go out of my way to talk to someone with a camera. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this young lady was over there. I didn't say anything to her. Huh? I don't want to be videotaped, and you didn't ask me. Yeah, but I didn't talk to you. Yeah, but it's just a matter of videotaping me. Nobody wants to be videotaped without permission. Oh. So if he's upset, he's the right to be upset. He does? And I didn't want to be, but you did it oh. anyways. You didn't. Yeah, but. Like, so, like, how, like, what do you think about, like, the whole First Amendment, like, that gives us the right to freedom of press? Well, I mean, that's what I'm saying to you. Yeah, but I was very quiet. I didn't talk to you. Well, there's, there's several. There's a camera right there, ma'am. Stop. There's several cameras in the library. Like, I don't talk to people. They don't talk to me first. Like, you know, the library is a beautiful example of the First Amendment at work. It's a beautiful building. So Hi, can, Nan. You can film. I know I can film. Here. I know. But you cannot bother our people. I didn't. He bothered me. So if I'm standing, filming, mm -hmm. not speaking to somebody, and they speak to me and tell me I can't film, that's if, them bothering me, not vice versa. If they express they are not welcome. That's not my. That's not my problem. That's their problem. No, they are here to uh, study and. Uh, and they can study. I'm not bothering. I'm not talking to anybody. Uh, none of the patrons have I gone to talk to. Okay, I understand. I've said not one word to anybody. He didn't like that I was filming. My constitutionally protected right can't be converted into a, something bothersome for him. Okay. Like I just, what I want to do is just go walk around the library, Nan, and be left alone. Yeah, you what can. you, what you should be more concerned of is, do you know that your library inspection sticker expired five months ago? I promise. If you look in the library, when the door, or the library, <laughs> we're in the library. If you look in the elevator, Nan, and I told her very nicely, I wasn't even rude to you at all, was I? It was very nice. When the door opens, you'll go inside and you'll see that the inspection for the for the operation of the elevator expired five months ago. As I'm sure you know, in the state of Massachusetts, okay. Th after expiration, you, you only have 30 days yeah, to get it fixed. So I, you're I, four I, months out of compliance, but you're still using the elevator. Day. So, yeah. I mean, if we're going tip for tat, yeah. you know, that's I, I that. yeah. Okay, Nan. All right, Nan, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Appreciate you, Nan. <sighs> it's not funny. Someone could get hurt in the elevator. I want to call it up so I can show you, Nan. I just want to show her so she knows her, so just so you know where it is. So you can, like... Oh yeah, I'm just, my concern is like, God forbid, the elevator malfunctions or something before then. Come on, I'll show you. 
I don't want it to like malfunction. So right, right here. So you can take a look. Um, the expiration date is right, do you see it right there? Expires April 30th. Uh -huh. Yeah, it expired. So, and in Massachusetts, you get 30 days to, to get it inspected after, it, after it's past the date. So right now you're operating in a legal elevator. So if someone got hurt in there or something, like a library would be liable. It's not funny. Yeah. Thank you. Because the taxpayers have to pay for it. Just Thank trying you. to... You're welcome, man. I'm just trying to help. Um, oh, can I... Before you go, can I just give you... Um, would you mind... Oh, this is scrap paper? Yes. Could I use a piece? Yes, yeah, sure. Thank please. you very much. I always like to ask before I take something. It's very important. Put this down over here. I just have to... Fill something up real quick. I can give it to you because you are the you're kind of in charge right now. So I'll just give this to you. Perfect. Today is the sixteenth. So, Nan, this is for you. If I could just hand this off to you, that would be great. Can you, I don't have great writing. Can you read it? My writing, my, my writing could be better. My penmanship. Uh, so, what, what, what did you write? Uh, I just wrote that I I'm doing an official records request, and I'm looking for uh, the name, salary, and dates in, of employment for Nan. And that's my email address. Um, so in nine days, your, um, most likely your director, she's going to send me an email that has your full name, how much money you make, and how long you've worked at the library. You can get it, to this is, if this is the public record, you can get it from Town Hall. Yeah, but so, I've been doing this a little bit. Town Hall, the subsidiaries are for the municipal employees, like the DPW folks, and the people that work in the Town Hall, police station, they deal with their own records internally, as, as well do you guys. So, your director will get back to me in, excuse me, not nine days, ten days, we're not in New Hampshire, so you get ten business days. Um, it, it is, is his decision. Uh, oh no, it's not his decision. But, but it's it's federal it, statute's decision, they made that decision. If it's public record, it you is. can get from Town Hall. If yeah, they'll, not, they'll they'll I, I they'll give it. He, they'll give it to me. Well, yeah, let me show you. Let me show you this. Look, I'll show you just so so you know I'm not. No, I, I'm working. I'm not fibbing. I, I cannot keep talking to you. Let's try and find it here. Let's see here. Oh, here it is. So, for example, this is from the Wellesley Public Library, and then they sent me their email the nine days that says. The person, the librarian, Arnie Christensen, his salary sixty-six thousand one hundred one uh, nineteen, and his dates of employment. See, guys, we get all this information, so we'll get it in nine days, and we have a record. So, thank you. Yeah, thanks, Nan. Appreciate it. Thank you, Daphne. All right, beautiful public library. Let's take one more lap around, and we'll head downstairs. I hope they resolve the elevator. Because I should respect people's feelings. I think they res should respect people's safety. I think that's crazy, though. They want me to respect feelings. They won't respect safety. That's crazy to me. That's him. That was the guy. He was telling me, like, I needed permission to film and stuff. He's naughty. Gotta do better, bud. 
That bud needs to do better. All right, let's head downstairs. I don't feel like super comfortable taking the elevator because it's not legal. All right, guys, have a great day. Again, Nan, I know that you value people's, you know, their feelings and stuff. I just wish that um, you would respect people's safety as much as you respect their feelings because they're certainly not safe and uh, that's illegal, so you know. I know. I, I'm you know it's illegal. And now, let me ask you another question. You know it's illegal. Are you going to put a sign on it that says do not use? Yeah, I can, we, we can do that. Can, all that. right, perfect. Let's do that. Can we do that? Uh, sure. That would be wonderful. I appreciate it. I just don't want anyone to get hurt. Like, okay. who knows? If it malfunctions, I don't want this poor library to be sued. I appreciate it. I mean, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the stairs, anyways. But I could I could stand to lose a few pounds. You know what I mean, Nan? I'm I need to lose a little bit of weight. See, Nan's very nice. There's just like some miscommunication in the beginning, and we've cleared it up. All's well that ends well, I suppose. Yeah. Can we get you a pen? There you go. Thank you. Thank you. I don't want you to have to go too far. You're such a nice lady. I want to help you if I can. See, Nan's very nice. Tape right there too. That's neat. You got everything up. You got everything up here. I don't think I got you another one in. Oh, you got some? I'm trying to get my cardio in. I'm just I'm keeping track of my steps. Ah, you're wonderful. You're very, very kind, man. I'm sure that people appreciate that. Oh, look at that. Okay. Now, that's awesome, man. Thank you. Right. Now everyone knows. Oh, that's great. Yeah, Jim. Hey, Nan, I have one more question. I don't mean to be a pain in the, in the bum, but how will they know if they get in the elevator downstairs not to come up? We um, should probably write I another one just in case. Huh? But what if someone just walks into it? Do you want me to like write one and put it up for you? Uh, so you don't have to go I, I down? Go I'm trying to help. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. You're too kind. Have a great day, Daphne. Thanks for being so nice. Holy smokes, that's origami. That's good. Somebody's really good at origami. She's like, no, oh, don't use the library. Don't use it. I'm not the library. I'm so tired, guys. Don't use the elevator. take pictures or shoot videos at library events to use in library publicity materials on our website. The library reserves the right to document its services and the public's use of the library to promote, publicize, and inform the public about the library. If you do not wish us to use a picture or video of you or your child, please tell a library staff member prior to the event. So even they recognize they're a public forum. 
Because they're telling people that they can expect to take their pictures taken. Thank you. Okay. Have a good day. You, uh, you want to go that side, though, so you don't get hit by the door. Yeah, that's a, well, I could use a good sense being knocked into me. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you, Nan. Have a good day. It's a good thing she told me. I would have fell down. Look at I would have got a boo-boo. <laughs> All right, guys. It's the Burlington Public Library. Where feelings are like soups important. So <laughs> it's so funny. The like, guy lost it. Like, what is happening in my life now? <laughs> All right, guys. That's the Burlington Public Library. We'll catch you on the next one, and that's the reason I stopped you today. Oh, I'm not stuck in a library. It was just a bad dream. <laughs>